takes to change everything in your life, everything in our world, and everything to create the greater world we all know is possible. See, it's the one missing element in what we've been looking for and what we've been trying to create and what we've been trying to find is actually us. And I know that can sound really strange because you think, well, I am me. How do I not have me? Except when you're truly being you, you have no judgment of anyone or anything, including you. When you're truly being you, you have total creative capacity. When you're truly being you, you don't try to mimic other people. You don't try to mimic your parents and then try to resist and react to that. You actually get to choose to be and have whatever it is you would truly desire on your terms, in your way. But when you're truly being you, you function from something called the kingdom of we, which doesn't exclude anybody else in your choices. It actually includes everyone and everything in every choice you make. It's the awareness of when you have you, none of the other stuff matters at all. So everything that I thought was significant and relevant and a problem and an issue and something that needed to be solved is so insignificant and so small compared to what we're actually, what I'm actually capable of and what we're all actually capable of. I've learned to facilitate people through working with thousands of people all over the world and seeing what makes us tick and where our underlying limitations are and giving you the tools to change it. You the inf invitation and the inspiration to change it. And as far as inspiration goes, and this is really important, one of the things that I do is I bring people up on the table and work on them using this energetic synthesis of being energy that flows through when I do these sessions. And you know, I can look at myself and think, Oh, you're, you're right. I no, like that. Amazing. One question that people ask me a lot is, what are the areas I can look at in a Being You class? You know, what's actually covered? Where do we go? Basically, there's nothing we don't look at in a Being You class. The beauty of it is, it's a free-form class where you get to ask any question about what's going on for you and get some facilitation about how it can be changed from a totally different direction than you ever thought change could occur. And the beauty of that is when you ask your question, it's a gift to everybody else in the class because whatever information you get, whatever clearing you get, whatever change you get, they get it at the same time. So it's one of the funnest, coolest things I could ever invite you to is actually getting to experience unlocking those areas of your life that you know should be changeable, that nobody else has ever been able to facilitate you in changing. It's time to change those things. So if you could have anything out of this, what would it be? I don't want to say total freedom. Total freedom. You see me do that, right? Let's play. Okay, so on three, what we're going to do is we're, without sort of like shoving it into his body, like wah, what we're going to do is we're going to explode what is all the limitation, all the judgment out of his world, okay? to the best of our ability to not let it come back if we can, okay? We'll see how that works on three. And it's basically like a lightning bolt and an atom bomb combined. And you gather all the energy you can, like you'll perceive all the places of judgment and everything, you just go, bye, okay, on three. One, get bigger, way bigger, way bigger, way bigger, there, more like that, cool. Two, even bigger, even bigger, even bigger, and three. You guys are good. That's awesome. One of the beautiful things that happens as a result of this class that people have told me about is that their awareness starts to be their guide for their life and their reality. All you have to be willing to do is to take the first step on the journey for the life and living you would like to create. You don't have to know all thousand steps and how to get there and how to do them. All you have to do is be willing to have the courage to take the first one. You might call it a leap of faith, Maybe it's actually a leap of awareness. All you have to be willing to do is take that first leap, that first step. And as soon as you do, the other steps that can be in front of you, you'll be shown. You have to do this. You just have to do this. It is just amazing.